My name is Zena Berkey and welcome to my YouTube channel. In case you are new here, I'm a young adult fiction author and today I'm doing some reaction videos basically that were all requested by you guys. Um, I have had a lot of requests recently on a couple different posts for a bunch of routines and I wanted to just get through all of them. And so I'm actually recording tonight. It's currently Monday night. No, it's Tuesday, Tuesday night. I'm recording 10 different reactions. So I'll be uploading five on Wednesday and five on Thursday. So stay tuned for all of them. Right now though, I'm kicking things off with Cheer Force Infinity. This is their NCA day one performance. And if you guys haven't watched my NCA vlog, I actually met two of the athletes from this team. Um, first of all, if you guys don't know I should actually start by saying this is the team that unfortunately lost an athlete during the Palm Springs competition uh, a man named Kenrod was unfortunately killed in a car accident although I did not know him my friend Natalie who currently chairs at California All-Stars on Blackjacks she actually used to work with him when she was at a different gym um, and she was at Max in Utah I say with so much confidence. Um, but so even though I didn't know him, there was a little bit of a connection and just seeing the way the cheer world kind of like rallied around this team and how they went out at Palm Springs and hit this amazing routine, which I still have never watched. Um, so when I was in NCA, sorry, this is gonna be a long intro. Um, when I was in NCA, two guys approached me and asked me to look at my schedule. It turns out they were on this team. We started chatting, I started crying. And long story short, they gave me this bracelet and it says, uh, together we are stronger and inside the infinity symbol, it says um, CF and TG for Cheer Force and Top Gun, and then it says hashtag for Kenrod. And um, it was just this really amazing moment. And I had never seen their performance because emotionally I knew I couldn't handle it based on the fact that like I saw photos and cried. And so day two of NCA was the only time I watched them. They did have one stunt fall, I believe it was. So they finished in at least second. Honestly, guys, most of NCA is a blur at this point. Um, but I know going into day two, they were in first place, um, uh, Infinity was. And so I'm really excited to see their clean performance. I can't promise I won't get emotional. I can't promise that I will, though. <laughs> Basically, anything could happen. You guys should be used to me crying by now. Anyway, um, I'm going to go ahead and react to their day one NCA performance. I don't know that I will ever be able to react to their day two Palm Spring performance. I just don't know that I can handle that because based on the pictures alone, again, I cried. So um, I'm going to go ahead and watch and react. As I do, it will appear right here for you to watch and react along with me. Without further ado, though, let's go ahead and hit play and watch the routine that literally was ahead of 005. And like, I'm just going to say this at the start and I might go into it more at the end of the video. I think there are two types of teams that win worlds. First of all, teams that are amazingly talented with like great execution and high point value and teams that are super inspirational and cause the whole cheer world to take note and I think this team is both. So, spoiler alert, I want them to win worlds so bad. Okay, we're going to hit play, watch them perform. Here we go. At the beginning too, they didn't show up, but they always like point up. Oh, I love that moment where they run up the stack of humans. Uh, but they always start by like pointing up in Kenrod's memory. Beautiful baskets. And this is again on a routine I've seen one time. Oh, he just pointed up. I'm fine. I'm totally fine, guys. I'm fine. Only maybe a little. Do the girls have buns? Yes. Oh, that was cool. They like dipped their knees and like, that has to be really difficult to keep up while they're doing things like that in the air. But like, uh, they're crushing it. Oh, that was cool. Oh, I remember that when they dragged the girls. Hit, hit. Pull. That sounded bad that they just dragged them, but they it was like creative and done like properly. Oh my gosh, center flyer. Just insane flexibility. Nice. The backs of their uniforms are also really cool. The backs of the girls' uniforms. I like it. It's very like open back, which I feel like doing what they're doing, you're going to get hot and sweaty. And so having an open back uniform is probably real nice. All right, we're getting into running, tumbling. Oh, oh, <laughs> Whoever films, whoever's filming this got a little blurry for a second. That's okay. I support you and I thank you for having this video up. All right, going into some pyramids. Ooh, 
Ooh, that was a cool spin aroundy thing. That's the technical term, the spinny roundy thing. I want to like hear their music. There's so much cheer music I need to get on Spotify between now and World so I can binge over the next month. All right, into dance. I like how spread out their dance is. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want a Listerine ad. Um, I just liked how their, their dance had like a line or like an arc of people in the back and then stuff happening in the front and it was just really cool. Um, that was a really, really, really great performance and I don't really know a lot about like technical execution and like what a high point valued score um, routine looks like compared to like an entertaining score. Um, it was definitely entertaining but then to know that it's also like high point value and all that stuff because they were in first after day one is super amazing and um, yeah, I just, I just love so many different, like, little elements of this routine. Like, when they run up the backs, I've seen it done before, but, like, that had a lot of height to it when they did it, if that makes any sense. Like, those girls weren't, like, crouched or, like, standing on people who were crouched all the way down low. Like, they were, like, up high, so that was pretty neat. Um, but, yeah, just overall really, really, really amazing routine, and I think it would be such an amazing moment to see this team win at Worlds. I think they're not just deserving because of this like story and like what they went through, but like they have an amazing routine too. And so like full spoiler alert, they're my vote to, to win. They're my hope to win. And when they win, not if, but when they win, there will be so many ugly tears and it'll be great. Um, also, I wanted to mention the reason I'm not wearing this bracelet is because I actually got a senior elite bracelet from um, Ryan and then another girl at Worlds when my friends and I met them and um, it broke. And so I wore it literally every single day after Worlds and then it broke and I have a Lady Jags bracelet too. And as soon as my senior elite bracelet broke, I took off the Lady Jags bracelet. I refuse to wear bracelets anymore because I don't ever want them to break and so I hook this onto my cheer bag where my bows are so it, it's like there for people to see just wanted to clear that up um but yeah overall absolutely amazing love this routine love this team um they are just amazing champions and an amazing example to the cheer world on what carrying on looks like and not only just you know continuing to do what they're doing but to do it in someone's honor and memory and um to really like fight for them and come together as a family is insane and amazing and i love it so much and this is the kind of story that it makes the cheer world so great and that's the kind of things that i wish the rest of the world would find out about and see and know because when people think of cheer they think of the glitter and the glam and the hair and the makeup but but there are so many more things happening that I think people miss when they think of cheer and if they really saw the insides of the industry with things like this then I think even more people out there would love cheer okay this video is way too long I apologize for my long intro and the long ending but uh, if you guys enjoyed it give it a thumbs up comment below your favorite moment or your general feelings on this team do you feel like they're gonna win over 005 like where where's your heart at with everything finally make sure you're subscribed to my channel with notifications on so you find out as soon as more videos are posted like I said I'm posting five tonight or today I'm posting is Wednesday and five more on Thursday um, and then after that if you have any requests please let me know at this point if I don't request to the to your video you've requested in these 10 please request again because I probably don't remember so yeah anyway uh, best of luck to cheer force infinity you guys are amazing rock stars I love this team I love each and every athlete for doing what they're doing and just taking such an amazing stance for their friend their family and for the sport in general so um, best of luck to them the rest of this season thanks to all of you guys for watching and I'll see you all soon